It is October 24th, Monday at 11 o'clock. This is where you can always find me working and sharing with you what the latest updates are with Collage Quilter and what I'm working on. Um, today, I uh, just recently finished up a lovely uh, workshop, series of workshops in Pensacola, Florida. I had a great time there. Um, fortunately, I was able to bring my husband and my son, so I had less anxiety about being separated from my family. Um, and not that I have anxiety about being separated from my family, but as I explained to the ladies at the retreat, I have a 16-year-old son who's a junior in high school, and he will be next year, he'll be a senior. And then after that, he'll be out of the house and um, he's my baby. So I am becoming quite protective of my time. Um, I wanna make sure that I don't feel stressed out and overwhelmed because I wanna be able to enjoy the time that I have with my son. Um, I figure I'm very close to being an empty nester. And once I'm there, I'm gonna love it. It'll be great. I have lots to look forward to, but. I need to be really careful about balancing my time. So that's why it was really fun to bring my son and my husband to Pensacola. Um, I did not know that Pensacola has these beaches that are like white sugar sand beaches. It was just beautiful and good barbecue. And we just had a wonderful time. And I had a great time at Annie Fabrics. Um, and this was hosted by the Gulf States Quilt Association. And I met some lovely women. We had a wonderful time. And um, so anyway, that's where I was. I just came back uh, early on Sunday morning is when our flight arrived. So um, for those of you who were with me, thank you so much for joining me there. We had, it, was, it was my pleasure teaching and sharing uh, my passion with you. So um, hello, everybody that's hopping on. It's great to see you. Um, I recognize familiar names, uh, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, in regards to teaching, um, I have had a lot of people asking about the retreat for next year. So let me kind of give you a, real, a, a really honest update about what my thoughts are. Um, I hosted two retreats this year, as you know, up in Midway, Utah. We planned the, you know, we booked the accommodations, we planned the meals, we planned a fun, fancy dinner, and I taught for three days, and um, the retreats went really well. They were sold out, and we were super excited to, to host, but I'll be honest, it's so much work to plan a private retreat, and I, I know Amelia just worked her butt off for months getting everything ready for these retreats, and so um, they are, they're draining, they're hard work. And again, back to this idea of making sure that I have a good work-life balance. I've been kind of like, you know what, I think we're going to maybe not do a retreat next year or really change the format of the retreat. Um, so I love teaching. I love teaching. It energizes me. And so I feel really energized after being in Pensacola because I love to share and teach and, and see people progress and learn. Um, I like doing that. So I am trying to kind of figure out um, what my teaching will look like next year. So I would really love your help. I've just created a blog post that's about... Uh, it's a questionnaire and I would love to have you give me your feedback. So I need to kind of know about whether you prefer a one day workshop or a multi day retreat. And if you like all inclusive retreats or if you prefer to do your own accommodations or if you prefer no retreats at all and you like to learn through video, um, online video. So it would be so, so helpful if you would um, check that out. So I'm gonna put the link right now for this blog post into the chat. Um, okay, so I've just posted the link for this questionnaire. It's just a simple questionnaire to kind of help guide me in my, um, it, you know, trying to figure out what I wanna do. We have, 
a contract with the Waldorf Astoria in Park City for October. Um, but again, I'm trying to decide, is that what I really want to do? Is that what you want to do? Um, or can I make it easier on myself and still meet everybody's needs? Um, so anyway, it would be really helpful if you would um, give me your feedback. I need that as we make decisions about retreats and workshops and whatnot. Um, okay, so that's kind of the first order of business. I um, I want to say hello to everybody that's signing in from uh, Northern Virginia and Oklahoma and Florida and um, Minnesota, Rhode Island. Thank you, everybody, for hopping on and saying hello. Um, and from Spain, even. I love it. Hello, Anna from Spain. Um, okay, so the next thing that I'm going to um, invite those of you who might be planning to go to Houston, um, give you a little update about, um, I want you to come to my booth and see me. So Amelia and I and my other daughter and my friend who works for me, Mindy, are going to be, we're, we're having a booth at Quilt Festival. It will be booth number 1323. So please, please, please uh, come and see me if you plan on attending a quilt festival. Uh, we will fly out. Let's see. We fly out next Tuesday. Um, and we will be there through the following Monday. So I'd love to come and have you say hello. If you watch me on live video on the live uh, thing, come, please come say hello. So again, that is booth number 1320 at Quilt Festival. I will be there every day and I will be doing um, demonstrations in my booth and we'll have all of the most recent patterns available. It's a great place for you to be able to come and ask me questions and have me really explain um, my processes and uh, methods. And um, so we will have this beautiful quilt uh, or this beautiful skirt available. The pattern is on its way. This will be um, released soon. So we're just, the pattern is done. It's written, it's being um, produced. It will be here. We'll have it for sale at the quilt festival, barring any unforeseen circumstances. But, um, and we've shipped a whole, whole, whole bunch of product to Houston. So please come by it <laughs> because I don't want to take it home. And um, I'm always really worried about people buying stuff. I hope that they come to shop. And Amelia, Amelia assures me that you're coming to shop. We will have a show special. So if you come to the booth, you will get a discount. Um, so anyway, that's that. Um, anyway, oh, let me change the permission. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me change the permission on this form to make sure that everybody can. Um, let's see here. I got to make sure everybody can access it. No, I don't want to add an editor. Aha. Anyone with the link can do it there. Now you should be able to access that form. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. So um, thank you, Jane. I just updated that. Jane, will you please again try and see if you can access that questionnaire? Amelia, will you try that too? What is the questionnaire? It's on our blog. So on the Collage Quilter blog, it's the very most recent blog post. Um, just go there and see if you can click in and leave a response. Um, okay, thank you, Jane. I appreciate that. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um great i do see a few of us who will be at uh a few of you who will be joining us or seeing us in houston so that will be really fun um so i'll just kind of give you a behind the scenes look at what we're doing to get ready to go to houston so of course we have a whole bunch of patterns that we have shipped. In fact, how many boxes did you ship last week? 22. Amelia shipped 22 boxes <laughs> of pro of inventory. So that includes patterns and supplies. Our supplies include um, 
our fabric bundles in every color. Um, I think we might also try and get a few more of the fussy cut bundles out. We got to talk about that. Um, so we've got fabric bundles, <clears throat> our, uh, our patterns, scissors, tweezers, irons, steam a seam, all that stuff will be at the booth. So if you have never done a collage quilt or you're kind of interested, you've been kind of lurking in the background, now's the time to come to Houston. Let me show you, let me demonstrate how fun and easy this is. And um, you can pick up the supplies that you need at a good discount, a good show discount. Um, so that's that. Then the other thing uh, behind the scenes, we are getting our kits. So we've, I told you last week, we've been working on that Cardinal kit. Um, folks, this was a pre-order item. It said on the product page, it said it on the main landing page of the website, the Cardinal was a pre-order item. We still are getting emails, kind of nasty emails asking, where the heck is my Cardinal pattern? It is a pre-order and we promised that we would be shipping in November. So I know many of you have been receiving them. We're getting them out and we're continuing to cut so that we can produce as many um, Cardinal kits as possible. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we will have some kits for the Cardinal at the show. And today I will be working on kitting this, the tree skirt. Now we will obviously only have a limited number of the pattern, the kits for the tree skirt. We will only have a limited number of kits for Cardinal, uh, for the Cardinal. So if you, um, you better get to the booth fast if you can get there early on that would be my advice because i know that they will they will sell out um okay jane said this time she's getting an error 403 uh dang it let me let me go back in here and give it another try see if i can get this fixed maybe i need to um update this again let me try it one more time okay guys i'm going to change the embed link copying that embed link making sure that everybody can access this um anyone with a link can access it oh it says i have to okay my apologies i will get this figured out Okay, I am sorry. I will get this figured out because I'd really, really love your um, your feedback on that. Um, I will post the links once I get it figured out. It's kind of hard to think straight when I'm live. So um, anyway, check back. <laughs> Ignore that link that I just put. I will fix the blog. I will fix the link in the blog and I will post it in the Collage Quilter Academy. Facebook group, the Collage Quilter group, and um, it will be updated on my blog. So give me just a few minutes after this uh, live video. Um, somebody just said, Emily, remember to take some time to breathe. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. My time to breathe will be in November um, after Houston. I kind of am fully scheduling my sick days because that's normally what happens. I work, 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 and then I'll kind of crash in November. Um, so Beverly just asked a, a question. She said, will there be a Christmas project? So the Christmas project from Collage Quilter from Emily that I am introducing, um, the Cardinal pattern, the Cardinal. Um, Amelia, do you want to maybe, oh, I think it's in this suitcase. Do you want to see? I just brought this suitcase from Pensacola. So I'll show you the Cardinal. And then the other uh, Christmas project is this tree skirt. So what? There's nothing in here. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, maybe it's the the. Um, you know what? It's the black. Okay, never mind. Just go, on the <laughs> go on the website. You'll see it. So this tree skirt is the Christmas project for 2022. It's the my favorite project that I've ever done. I really love it. And um, so yeah, you can select either the the tree skirt, which is a larger project, or you can just do the little cardinal. Both of those are Christmas projects that I'm putting out. And um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Norma just asked a good question. She said, will we not be able to get a kit for the tree skirt if we can't go to the show? Um, no, Norma, we will make kits. We will make kits available for sale on the website so that if you cannot attend the show, um, you will be able to order them. Or if you can be at the show, we will bring a limited number. So we will make it available for both. But just remember that when those go available for sale, there will only be a small a small number of them. Um, so, but the pattern is written so that you've got all the instructions about um, what you need to purchase. So the quanti fabric quantities for the green and for the cream and the quantities you need for the uh, bias, uh, the bias binding and um, all that. So all of that is included in the pattern. So even if you don't end up with the kit, um, you should be able to acquire everything that you need. And then the other thing that you can use is my um, the green bundle and the red bundle. So the bundles will be um, available. Obviously, they'll be perfect to use for the kit. Um, OK, guys, again, I'm having a, an issue with the blog post. So there's nothing wrong with it. I just did it. It's working fine. Yeah, but maybe you're in my Google group or something. I think that might be it. I, there's a setting that seems to be it looks like a lot of people are having a hard time getting it. So um, so thank you for your enthusiasm and your willingness to go there. I apologize that the um, that the questionnaire is not accessible. I'll fix it. It's just some setting on Google, so I'll fix it. Uh, Margie said, when will the kits be available online? Well, Margie, I can't give you a firm answer on that because um, we are working hard to cut them right now. And so as far as these kits, these are pretty large kits. That's pretty labor intensive. And we're through this week, we're going to be working on that. But we're also we've got to get ready for this for the show in Houston. So we will do our best if I can get them available um, I would love to be able to have them available uh, next week. But then the other thing is we are leaving, so we won't be able to fulfill the orders. So that's another little problem. Um, so I'd say within a week or two, we will have the kits available. So I apologize. I don't have a firm date on that. Um, let's see. OK, uh, somebody just mentioned good morning from Mary J in South Carolina, she said uh, she has just finished block three of the garden party and she feels like she's learning a lot and having a great time. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, okay, Amelia, are you seeing any other questions? So somebody, yeah, a few people are getting their cardinal kits because we're working hard to get those out based on um, who ordered first. So you can look for your cardinal kit. Uh, coming very soon. Amelia's going to be working really hard to get those out today. Um, anything else? Oh, just curious, how much time do you have to spend at your booth? Oh, somebody said, how much time do I have to spend at my booth? Uh, nine hours every day. <laughs> it's nine hours every single day. Well, nine hours for three days, <clears throat> and I think it's six hours on the last day. So it is intense, intense, hard, hard work. And yes, I will be there for most of those hours. Um, I will try and take a few, you know, I'll take a lunch break and a break now and then, but um, I will be there for the majority of that time. So that's that. Can we um, pre-order the tree skirt kit? What, what was the question? Can we pre-order the tree skirt kit? Um, I so somebody just asked, can we pre-order the the skirt kit? Uh, possibly. I might. That might be a good idea. I'll make that available. Probably, if that happens, that will be. Uh, we'll make it available for pre-order by Friday. Um, I have another good little bit of news. Um, I have uh, kind of been working all year behind the scenes on a, my third book. 
and um, it's not ready yet, but it's coming along and I'm really excited to announce that next year sometime, not going to give you dates or anything, but I think you're going to be really, really excited and pleased with this book. This is going to be super fun. It's going to dive into, um, and actually Amelia is co-authoring this don't book. Say that. Oh, it might not be happening. <laughs> Amelia's like, no, don't say that. Okay. Anyway, we're going to be, di I will be diving in, in the book a little bit more, um, into design and what makes a really great design and people have asked so many times about how to create their own designs and so we're going to go we're going to i'm going to kind of give some direction about creating your own design um, through this new book and it will incorporate um a creative challenge so it's going to be it's going to be a great book i'm really excited about it and the key with that for me has just been to let it flow naturally, not put myself on a deadline, not put myself on a tight schedule. Um, I've just needed to really think hard and long and write, 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 and it's developing and I'm excited about it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, Penny just asked a question. Will the tree skirt be available as a digital download? Um, yes, I think it will be. Um, it is, yes, I think so because I like to make the products available for people who need a download. Um, although let me think about that. My answer is yes, probably. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. Any other Did you questions? change your mind on eyes on the Scandinavian dolls faces? Um, so somebody just asked a question about the eyes for the Scandinavian dolls. I kind of explained this last week. I don't like, I don't want to have a face on the dolls. I will be doing a little um, French knot for their eyes. And I'll show pictures of that when I get that done. But as you know, I've been in Pensacola, so I haven't gotten it done. But I will get that done. I'll get it done today. Um, if you want to add eyes and put a face on your doll, be my guest, but I would not recommend it. I like the idea of keeping it very stylized. Um, Elizabeth says, um, great question. Elizabeth says, love your patterns and have purchased almost every pattern and fabric bundle. Love, love, love. Well, I want to see what you've done. You better not just be buying. You better be making Elizabeth. Um, just made a Yorkie block. Oh, good girl. I'm glad to hear that. Do you ever have free patterns available from the Shenandoah Valley, Virginia? Um, there is a free pattern and, um, it is, so if you go to collage quilter, uh, collage quilter.com, scroll down to the end of the page in the footer, you'll see a link. It says free pattern. So you can access that free pattern and that free pattern is going to be updated very soon. So that free pattern is going away. We'll be replacing it with a new free pattern very soon. So there you have it. Um, any other questions? I'm just looking through to see if there are any other questions. And okay, Barb just asked a question. Will you be doing anything in Central Florida? Pensacola is approximately a six and a half hour drive from here. Um, Barb, at the moment, I don't have anything scheduled for Central Florida. Um, I do have a few workshops scheduled and I've got people inviting me to go do workshops. Um, so the best place to find where I will be is go to collagequilter.com and you can see on my events calendar uh, kind of what my schedule is. So the next thing that I have coming up, let's see, I have a few digital things coming up for um, some quilt guilds in November and December and a whole bunch of them in January. And then I will also be traveling to Road to California in January. So I will be teaching there if you can join me there. Um, anyway, that is that. Oh, we've got somebody from Scotland. Um, oh, she, she brings up a really great question. 
Hello from Scotland. Love your work. You used to have patterns for vegetables, but I couldn't find them on your website the other day. Are these still available? Um, so I hid those vegetable vegetables because my intention was to update those patterns. Um, I can just make them available, make them show again so that you can download them. So that's an easy fix. Amelia, do you want to do that? Sure. So Amelia is going to take care of that right now so that you can purchase those downloads. They're just the veggie downloads. Um, so somebody just asked a question. How difficult is it to quilt the tree skirt? Um, so I quilted the tree skirt on my domestic machine. I don't know how you would do it on a long arm machine. That would be tricky. So I recommend quilting this on a domestic machine that has a rather large uh, neck. Um, I think that's what it's called. Uh, a large space. It was not a problem at all. It was really simple for me to just kind of roll it up and move it as I needed to. So the quilting part on this was pretty simple. North Finland. Fantastic. Thanks for being here. How fun. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Um, and Athens, Greece. I love it. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me in small, Smallville, Utah. I'm in Sandy, Utah and Salt Lake, just a suburb of Salt Lake City, Utah. So um, this is kind of cool to have people from around the world join us. Um, anyway, so that is that. Uh, Rita just asked, is there a link for the pre-order on the tree skirt? Not yet. I am going to try and I, I want to get a little bit ahead of the curve, but Hopefully we'll do a pre-order availability on, uh, we'll we hopefully get that updated. But it's not on, for certain that we're going to do that. But I, it's not for certain. You can't don't ever, promise. don't count on ever anything that comes out of my mouth. So, <laughs> so Amelia's scolding me over there. She's saying, stop telling them things. So um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get everything ready to launch this tree skirt. So Debbie said, could the tree skirt be done as a quilt as you go? Um, yeah. Yes, this would be a great well, quilt. Well, not because of the arms. It has it overlaps, right? No, I mean, yeah, you'd have to kind of think about maybe cutting the arms. But I do think you could do this because I've got ribbon here that that could cover the seams in between. So if you... Um, either you could do the seams on the front or the seams on the back side. You know, I, I think you could probably do it, but that's not how the pattern is, is written. And so I can't stand behind that. <laughs> but if you're a really good seamstress and you know how to do quilt as you go, I'm sure you could do it. Um, Jane said she was in Salt Lake City October 5th for a few days to visit. Well, dang, I wish you could have visited us. Um, anyway, okay, guys, I have to get going. Um, I have a lot to do to get this thing kitted. So, um, and I will check in with you next Monday. I will be here again. Monday is Halloween, right? Is it Monday on Halloween? I, so. I will be dressed up. So join me on Halloween to see what is happening in the studio and hopefully I'll have some big actually I already know I have a big announcement for you <laughs> for Halloween so I'll talk to you soon and have a great week hope the weather is turning beautiful where you are it, we got some snow finally in our mountains hallelujah <laughs>